first technique from Tiger System. We have to be powerful. Powerful in the upper body, powerful in the legs. So it's important you guys do your Tiger style conditioning, which I'll put some links to down below. You gotta have that muscle in the legs, muscle in the upper body, so that your aggressiveness is backed up with the body armor that you got through your training. If I'm in my Tiger style, nice rooted athletic pose, my hands in front to keep him away from me, he's gonna swing wildly like somebody with no training would do on the street with his right hand hooking in. I block the hook with the back of my forearm and wrist with my tiger claw locked back. This hand chops into the temple or to the eye or to the ear. Then my claw rips past his face. Then I slam the butt of my palm right into the cheek or the jaw or the nose. From there I grab behind the head and knee up right to the chest or to the groin or to the face. And that's the move. One more time. He comes in for that hook. Block it. Chop in first, rip to the eyes second, strike in third, grab behind, knee up to the body, or knee up to the face. From this view, same movement. Block, chop, rip, hit, knee up. One more time. Block, chop, rip, hit, knee up. Let me show you guys how it should look in full speed and slow-mo. Next, I'm gonna become more athletic, almost like a Bruce Lee kind of bounce going on. I'm gonna become more small in my stance like a wrestler would be, and a little more angular and playful in my stance. Before we fight, if I'm using Monkey, I might try to soften up with a little bit of some sweeps and some jabs, and use that agility that monkeys have. When he goes in for that first jab punch, I hook it over the top. When the cross comes in or the hook comes in, I block out this way. Then I have no more hands to use and neither does he. But I have a superior body position for a nice solid headbutt right to the body. Same move from this angle. Monkey has that superior leg position, amazing stances, low and powerful and rooted. The jab comes in, hook it here. The hook comes in, block it here. And then go for that headbutt from a superior stance. Boom! One more time from this angle. Same move. Good position, the jab comes in, the hook comes in, headbutt. Let me show you guys in full speed and slow-mo. I normally don't advertise too much that I'm vegan, but I did today, and this guy's got a problem with that. But I'm asking them, why the hell you have a problem with me being vegan? He doesn't want to argue, he goes right to his punch. Boom! So my bird kung fu is well suited to defend me when I'm in a compromised or unready position. The straight right comes in, trap it right here. I'm trying to push down with this part and push up with this part just to stop most of the force of his punch. He's probably still gonna hit me, but at least I diverted 50% or more of his power. So the punch comes in, pop it. And then right from there, come up with the bird wing, striking with the side of the hand, the fifth metacarpal, right to the temple, ear, or eye, or jaw, or neck. Again, I'm not in a good stance. His straight right's coming for me, one more time. Pop it, side hand with those bird wings. From this angle, same thing. It comes in, pop it, go for the bird wings. One more time from this angle, how's that feel? Fine. The side of the hand is a pretty sharp, hard weapon. Especially when you do your iron bone and condition it like we do. If you guys want the iron bone training, search Jake Mace Iron Bone on YouTube. I'm not ready for him, he comes in, boom! I divert most of the power, come up, pa! Right to the head with the wings. I could also add to it, of course, you can add to all these, by throwing a nice groin kick with the foot. By throwing a nice groin kick. By throwing a nice... Let's show it in full speed and slow-mo. Thanks for watching this video today. I want you guys to study your Kung Fu forms intently and learn the details of the forms, but then always ask your teacher to show you how to apply the form training to the fight. Because to have the yin and the yang, the form and the fight, is what makes you a well-rounded warrior. Then also have the internal, the diet, 
the lifestyle and the meditation that can support the yin side of your Gong Fu practice. If you want more of this, check me out on Instagram, Jake Mace Tai Chi, and also Snapchat Jake Mace Tai Chi, or get my DVDs on online school at jakemace.com. Hang out past the credits. I'm gonna show you a cool drone shot I just filmed. At the end is a bonus move just for you guys. Thank you. Thanks for sticking it out to the end. Tiger Kung Fu, one of the most aggressive and capable styles of Gong Fu for the street. You tried to avoid the fight, but you couldn't. It's gonna happen. So take the initiative. Before he throws the first strike, this hand captures onto his lead arm with my tiger claw that I've been training for grip strength. I step in and pop to the forearm, elbow, or tricep, and then grab onto this part of the arm. Then instead of throwing a trap to the knee or a roundhouse kick to the body, I instead throw a trap style kick to the hip and give him a seat right on the ground. One more time from this other angle. Come on over. Take the initiative, grab on one, pop two, give him a seat down to the ground that way. And let me show you guys in slow-mo and full speed. Fuck. 